Hey guys, it's Dante with another Dante's Comedy Tips. Today I want to talk to you guys about clean comedy. So someone who watches my Dante's Comedy Tips, this nice lady said she needs some help with clean comedy and I don't talk about it enough. So let's talk about it. Clean comedy is uh, very important and very scary. It's harder to do than dirty comedy. Sort of like how they say it's harder to do comedy than it is drama. Same. It's really hard to do clean. Um, you know, you know that you can say a curse word in front of a crowd and they're all going to laugh. And then you could say something clean like tree and no one laughs. So there's your disadvantage right there. Here's my advice. Go through your act first, figure out what works for clean. And when I say clean, remember there's three levels. There's comedy club clean. So when you walk into a comedy club and they say, hey, that headliner's clean, be clean in front of them. They mean you can say damn and hell and whatever, even a couple of shits. And then, no fuck, don't, you know, do, but that's what they mean. Corporate, they mean cleaner than that. Cleaner than TV, meaning do as clean as you would on TV, but no race jokes, no jokes about religion or politics. That's all they basically mean. No fucks, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to offend people at corporate, right? And then there's G-rated, which means churches, um, cruise ships. You have to do a PG and an R and a G. I think every Sunday they bring out the kids and the comics have to perform in front of them. So those are the levels. Keep those in mind and figure out uh, how to do G. Because if you can be funny at G, you're going to be funny at all of them. Does that make sense? You don't have to go anywhere from there. So it's a hard task, but I would say get into one-liners and turnaround jokes. Turnaround jokes are like, you know, uh, I had a BB gun and someone said, hey, you better shoot a bird or something. And so I shot it and it fell to the bottom of its cage. That's a turnaround. You didn't expect the cage. All right, one-liner. That's It's also uh, a one-liner is, you know, like, I don't know. Uh, why do Italian women do this? Because of blah, blah, blah. That's a one-liner, okay? Don't do race again. Sorry, I, I'm Italian, so I said it, but I still wouldn't even incorporate. All right? Put a bunch of those together, string it together, make a story, and there you go. That's your first step. Oh, click. If you need more advice, come back. Oh, click.